Uh, well, we were looking around for a machine, uh, mainly with us with contracting, we were uh, chasing something that was easy to transport. With a lot of the narrow bridges we have to try and get through, uh, that was an issue. Um, just with labour shortage, uh, it was a pretty big problem, so we had to find a machine that was easy to transport, basically and there's a lot of advantages in this machine and there'll be a huge savings in fuel I think once you get into some big paddocks especially when you're contracting if you can save the grower a couple of dollars well it's a couple of dollars he can budget on cutting off his uh, cost if we can pull it easier well we're getting away with a smaller tractor um, so our overheads are a bit smaller so from a contractor's point of view yeah if you can get away with a smaller tractor you're laughing We've got an old 8400T um, and it's 280 engine horsepower uh, and we're pulling 80 foot. Um, it's on oh, 400 mil spacings, so we're pulling about 60 tines. We found the machine this year especially um, with, with the full profile, which we haven't had for a few years, yeah, we were chasing a lot of moisture. Uh, we were going down quite deep. There was a lot of other people in the area that um, were pulling out because they just couldn't get to it. Um, but yeah, we were we were able to get get into it. We were probably going down about uh, you know a good five to six inches um, with the eighty uh, four hundred T on the front, which was surprising. We were getting probably about five to six k, which you know I, I'd regard as a pretty good speed for moisture seeking. Um, you know, at eighty foot, um, yeah, I couldn't complain about that. It won't be an issue uh, with Dave to extend it out to one hundred and twenty, um, and yeah, the sky's the limits. Um, with, with this design that Dave's got, and uh, it's just got a huge potential, I think, in the agriculture industry. We've done about 5,000 acres of moisture seeking, and really we haven't replaced much besides points. Uh, maybe a busted press wheel, but that's probably because a bit of a stump hit it on the side, but we, we don't seem to have much trouble sourcing parts, and uh, a lot of the machine, if something does break you, you can fix it in the paddock. Maintenance-wise, there's not a lot to it. Like pre-season, uh, there's nothing worse than having to start up two weeks before starting to organise parts and stuff like that. You know, for the size of the machine, uh, there's just not a huge amount to them. You look at some of the opposition's machines, 80 footers, and you know they take a lot to pull just to just to move them. And um, whereas this machine's reasonably light to move and um, yeah, easy to pull in the paddock. That's the main thing. We don't want downtime because it's all money. Um, you know, so yeah, we're chasing the acres and, you know, that's a part of the game of contracting.